Hi everyone, Brianna here from The Lockport Y with another series of Eat Well to Be Well. We are highlighting avocados today. So avocados can be found all around this time of year. Spring is their season. I like to buy fruits and vegetables whenever they're in season because they tend to be cheaper. Um, so avocados are, are springtime fruits. They're actually not a vegetable, they're fruit. They're grown on trees and actually um, trees can grow up to 400 avocados in a year, which is also pretty cool. Uh, sometimes they're known as alligator pears because of their shape and their color. So when you're buying avocados, it's important to figure out when you're going to use them in your cooking. And if you're gonna use them the day of, you wanna make sure that they're ripe enough. So you can tell by looking at their skin color, you can tell by feel. Um, so if you're squeezing them and they're slightly soft, um, just make sure there's no pitting because that means they could be bruised. But um, as long as they have a darker green color than, and they're semi-soft, then they're good to eat that day. If you're going to use them a few days out, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're lighter in skin color and that they're a little firmer so then they don't go mushy or get bad on you, okay? So you can set them on the counter for a few days, keep them at room temperature, and when you're cooking with avocados, it's very important that you don't throw them into high heat um, because it gives them a bitter taste. So you wanna keep them at room temperature. If you do want to serve them with a warm dish, just kinda of throw them in at the end and then they won't get that bitter taste. But um, another tip is if you are using avocado and you don't need the whole avocado and to preserve it for a few days so it doesn't brown on you, you can actually sprinkle it with lemon or lime juice um, some people have tried white vinegar that works and then you refrigerate it. So it can last a few days for you. But tonight um, we are going to be making avocado deviled eggs. So that's right, I dyed some Easter eggs over the weekend. So I have did some prep work. When you're boiling eggs, you want to let the water come to a full boil and then take it off the heat for 10 minutes with the lid on the pot. And after 10 minutes, they should be good. So you just run them over cold water and um, that stops the cooking process. So then you have a perfect hard boiled egg. Uh, I did a little bit of pre-work. So I've already um, de-shelled my eggs and I split them in half and I put all the yolks in a bowl. Okay, so for this recipe, I did three hard boiled eggs, cut them in half, and I'm gonna use a whole avocado, okay? When you are cutting an avocado, I think the easiest way is to use a sharp knife, so be careful, and you're gonna cut it lengthwise all the way around, okay? You can actually save the pit if you wanna to try to regrow it too. But once you get that slice, then I just twist it and voila, there's our avocado. So some people use a knife to get this out. You can use a spoon, totally up to you for safety purposes. I'm just going to get the pit out with a spoon. But again, you can also um, poke it with a knife and it will come out that way too. So this may be a little messier, but it works. So we don't need the pit. Um, Depending on how you're using your avocado, you may want to scoop it out. Some people, um, you don't want to eat the skin. Some people uh, scoop it out and then slice it and they put it on toast. Uh, you can substitute butter, mayo, sour cream with avocado. That's a healthier version. So, um, but for today's demonstration, we're just going to scoop it out and put it right into our bowl with the yolks. So we want to get all of it out, out of the skin. And so you're left nothing with the skin, okay? So the whole avocado is gonna go in the bowl. It doesn't matter what it looks like because it's all gonna be mashed up anyway. And some people are very particular with how they like their deviled eggs. So you can season this however you desire. Um, but I'm just going to be very basic with my seasonings. Obviously we're not going shopping these days um, very regularly, so I just took what I had in my house, okay? So, all right, so we got the avocado and the yolk. Um, so again, like I had said, the lime juice helps so we don't have a brownish color, okay? So we're gonna actually put two teaspoons of lime juice in our bowl. And this is simply, not to give it a little bit of flavor, but simply to prevent it from browning because we're not gonna eat all six of these eggs at once. 
portion control, right? So two tablespoons, or sorry, two teaspoons of lime juice are going into my bowl. And then you're also going to put a teaspoon of cilantro, fresh or I have it just in a seasoning jar, okay? So you can eyeball it, but it's about a teaspoon, okay? And then we're gonna do a pinch of salt and pepper. Again, salt and pepper to taste. Careful with the salt. Uh, avocado has no sodium in it, so the only sodium that's coming in is what you're adding. So totally up to you how much sodium you put in. I'd stay on the light side, but just give it enough to give it flavor, okay? So in the bowl, we have the yolks from the eggs, a whole avocado, a dash of salt and pepper, and garlic powder. And then we have two teaspoons of lime juice and then a teaspoon of cilantro. And again, that can be fresh or in a, in a jar, whatever, whatever you got at home. So now we're just gonna mash this up. I'm using a fork. You can use a whisk, whatever works for you. Get the kids involved. This is the fun part, mixing it all together. Okay. Um, so while we're mixing this up, a few other tidbits of avocados. So obviously we talked about how they are sodium free. They're also cholesterol free. And um, they're a good source of healthy fat. So I'm sure um, you've heard of saturated fat, trans fat, but not everyone hears of the good fats, which is our polyunsaturated fat and our monounsaturated fat. Well, avocados have a lot of monounsaturated fat. Um, so that means they're heart healthy, they're good for your skin, okay? Um, avocados also have a lot of potassium, folic acid, um, and vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin K, B6 is in there too. So. Um, as you can see, it's a very nutrient-dense food source, okay? So lots of nutrients, all good for you. Help you build that muscle. A uh, lot of fiber, which keeps us feeling full. We learned that last week with the blueberries, right? Okay, so I think we're mashed up pretty good. So there we go, we're all mashed up. And so from here, once you can taste it, see if it's a good taste for you. And then once you have it all mashed up, you're going to top it into your eggs. Make it all nice and pretty, as much as you want. Okay, and then we're going to dress it up with a little bit of paprika. All right, some people top it off with bacon, <laughs> whatever you want, cilantro leaf, okay? So a little close up, we got, woo, we're sliding off the plate here. Hang on, let me take it off. We got our lovely deviled egg for you, okay? So again, I would fill the rest of these with the prepared guacamole and top them off, and then you just store them in the fridge. So these should store for a few days for you because of the lime juice, but um, other than that, you are welcome to enjoy. So remember, avocado, lots of vitamins in it, you can use it in substitute of mayonnaise. You can put it on toast. A lot of people make salsas or guacamole. Um, I've heard of people making fish um, seafood um, dressings as well. So there's so many things you can do with avocados. So I can't wait to hear what recipes you have that you use avocados with. Um, but all in all, continue to add them into your diet on a regular basis because they are just so good for you and it may be an acquired taste but over time i've grown to like them so uh, i hope you enjoyed the deviled eggs again nice and festive especially for the springtime so um if you have any questions feel free to comment below but i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope everyone has a blessed day take care bye